What is going on, Bucks fans? Evan Wanish here back at you with yet another position group preview for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, today we are going to be looking at the cornerback room. Now, of course, the corner room has been, I think, a consistent part of the team. I know that some don't believe that. I think injuries have played a part in that. But I also think in today's NFL, corners are hot and cold. I think there's going to be times where our corners are getting burned. There's going to be times where corners are shutting a team's, you know, other un, another team's offense down. So I do think the Bucks cornerback room has remained intact pretty much. And I think it still has a lot of potential to be pretty good this season. But let's get right into the list. And the Buccaneers right now have a good bit of corners on their roster. Uh, Anthony Chesley, D. Delaney, Don Gardner. Carlton Davis, of course, Jamel Dean, of course, Zion McCollum, Derek Pitts, Deron Lowe, Keenan Isaac, and Josh Hayes, who was their sixth round pick from this past draft. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on Carlton Davis or Jamel Dean. One thing I will say about Jamel Dean, though, is I do think there might be another gear that Jamel Dean can get to. This past offseason, I... I was among the many, I think, that were expecting Jamel Dean to look elsewhere uh, and end up signing elsewhere. I was pretty surprised when the Buccaneers were able to bring him back. I thought he was going to get paid a really good amount of money and it was just going to be a bit too much. But nonetheless, the Buccaneers were able to sign him back on a pretty affordable deal. So Jamel Dean's back. And at times, Jamel Dean has been the Bucks' best corner even though Carlton Davis has been their quote-unquote number one guy, Jamel Dean has flashed a lot at times, and I've said it for a while. I still do think that out of all the physical traits and as far as tools go, I do think Jamel Dean is the most talented uh, Bucks corner. Now, can he get to another level? I think he can. I, I certainly think he can, and he's got great ball skills. He's got, like I said, the great physical tools. I think he, there's another level. Do I think he's going to be an elite number one corner? No, I don't think that. But I do think there's another level that Jamel Dean can get to. And I'm curious to see if he gets to that this year. So it'll be a big boost if he can, uh, especially with Carlton Davis right next to him. I think Carlton Davis is just a solid, steady corner. Uh, you're not going to get many interceptions. He's not a ball hawk. I wish he was. That would be perfect if he was. Uh, but you're going to get, I think, steady play from Carlton Davis. He's not going to make huge mistakes. He's always going to make the right play. So I, I have full faith in those two guys. But the issue is what's behind them. The Bucks let Sean Murphy Bunting go. Uh, he's now with the Tennessee Titans. He signed as a free agent there. So now what do they do for a third cornerback? In, the, in today's NFL, you need a third corner. Uh, you're, a lot of teams are going to be lining up three wide receivers, four wide receivers sometimes. They're going to put the running back out. They're going to put the tight end out. It's just the way offense is nowadays, and you're going to need a third corner. And, I mean, on this list, you got a few candidates, but, like, it can't be any that you're completely comfortable with. I mean, D. Delaney, Zion McCollum, like, those are the two. Uh, Delaney has more experience than McCollum. McCollum was a fourth round pick who the Bucks actually traded up. They actually sent a this year's fourth round pick, a 2023 fourth, to Jacksonville in the 2022 draft to be able to select McCollum. So they're clearly, clearly high on him. And I like Zion McCollum again with the physical traits and tools. I like him. He had a good year on special teams. However, when they put him at corner, he struggled. And that's not to say it was a rookie season. Like That's not to say that he can't turn around and develop again. He, he can certainly do that, but I'm not sure if you can bank on that. So I think that's going to be something coming in the training camp that you're going to have to keep a really close eye on. Could have got D. Delaney or Zion McCollum. D. Delaney also played a little bit of safety in the past for the Buccaneers. Could one of those guys potentially be the third corner on this roster? And then you have other guys, uh, Anthony Chesley, Don Gardner, who's been on the team for a little bit, Derek Pitts, Deron Lowe, Kean Isaac, but then Josh Hayes. And Josh Hayes was their sixth round pick out of Kansas State and is actually the nephew of late, former late uh, Bucks linebacker Geno Hayes. So actually a very cool and interesting little, little connection there for Josh Hayes. But 
I just don't know if he's going to be quite ready. I don't know if you can trust a sixth round pick to step in on day one and be your third corner. Because at this point, the third cornerback in a defense is essentially a starter. It's it's essentially a starter. So you're going to be putting a lot of faith in whoever you have there. And the Buccaneers have not signed a veteran. I mean, all these guys behind Carlton Davis and Jamel Dean are fairly young. Like they are fairly young. So it wouldn't shock me if the Bucs do end up signing a veteran at some point in training camp just to have somebody there. Uh, in case something bad happens, injury happens, something like that, or just to have some veteran leadership. But I would think the three names that you could be looking at as potential candidates and to keep an eye on it during this training camp would be D. Delaney, Zion McCollum, and Josh Hayes for that third corner role. Would like to see Zion McCollum win it because, like I said, I think his physical tools and traits really translate well to the NFL. His size to speed combination translates well. And I just think he'd be a good fit there. And look, the Bucs spent a fourth round pick on the guy. So you're hoping that he can pan out here sooner rather than later. Jamel Dean and Carlton Davis, I fully expect them to do their thing. It's just that question of what's behind them. And that's a question about a couple of the Bucks positions. Like we just talked about the other day, the inside linebacker position, what's behind Levante David and Devin White. There's a lot of questions there. So a lot of questions yet to be answered. Uh, and, and hopefully we'll get some answers you know, this coming training camp and definitely will uh, this coming season. But let me know what you guys think about the cornerback room. Let me know if you guys think Jamal Dean can take a next step like I do. Uh, let me know what you think about the third cornerback spot. Who's going to win the job? Is it going to be Zion McCollum, D. Delaney, or Josh Hayes, or somebody else on the list? Like I said, they got a bunch of corners right here. So let me know what you guys think about all of this. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and talk soon.